My name is Joseph and I smoked for 25 years before I made the decision to quit. I've been a smoker since I was about 13. Smoking for me was a normal part of my household activity. My parents were both heavy smokers during that time, so that's kind of how I fell into that. And I do remember the first time that I had a cigarette, and it's probably one of the worst days of my life ever. It's a decision I regret every day. Smoking for me is a very uh, private activity. I will often step away from groups that I'm meeting with. I'll go around corners, I wash my hands. It's just not a pleasurable activity anymore. Um, so the social aspect is definitely fading away. But the motivator for me uh, was actually being in the room when my uh, grandmother died from lung cancer. I've lost just so many people that I care for over the years for direct tobacco-related illnesses. And my grandmother was really very special to me. She's the person that I came out to. Uh, it was very welcoming and warming. I lived with her for a long time after I came out because my parents weren't uh, able to, in some cases, relate to me. That's the reason when you look at somebody die and you see they're, they're just gone and it was something that was totally within their control. And I just decided I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to be with my partner and leave them any sooner than I had to be. This is something that's totally in all of our control. And that's what really motivated me to quit smoking. Uh, it's just made a huge improvement in my daily life. And that's something I'm excited about. And I have not regretted that one bit at all. It's been very exciting and I know better things are still yet to come. My advice to anybody that's thinking about quitting smoking is do it. Don't be afraid, you're not alone. There's plenty of resources. If you feel afraid, if you feel alone, find me, find somebody, find Project Filter. There's plenty of help out there. If I can quit, anybody can quit. Project Filter can help. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW or visit projectfilter.org.